A. Idag ska jag läsa den här boken som heter When We Were Alone in the World och det här är engelska som vi ska läsa för er. One day at school I learned to tell me Tell the time, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. At 3 o'clock, Dad usually came to get me, but he wasn't, wasn't outside in the end. I went home by myself. Our house is just down the road, but why hadn't he come? What, what, hap what had happened? The door to the house was locked. I called to, out to Mom and Dad, and Dad but they were at there. They were gone and so was my little brother. I worked out that they were dead. Something must have happened. Probably they been run over by a truck. I sat on the steps and cried. It was very sad. I wasn't even six years old and I was all alone in the world. And the house where, where we lived was locked alone in the world. What had happened to my little brother? Lea, bara. Jag en fråga till pappa vad jag ska säga. Kan du äta vatten? <laughs> Maybe he was at play school when mom and dad were, got run over by a truck. I ran the whole way there are uh, it's not very far i saw him in the sand pit pouring sand over a little girl with a dummy in her mouth i hugged him and cried he looked at me in surprise i had to stop crying at once i couldn't show him how terrible things were and that would make him sad just you and me now, I said, alone in the world. But I look after you very, very well. Everything will be just like normal. The teacher was chasing after a girl, climbing the fence. I took my little brother by the hand and we sneaked away. We were on our way home. Everything would be just the same when he came home. From play school, my little brother liked to watch TV for a bit. Usually, he sat on the mat eating a little biscuit. That was a big problem. We had no house. We had no mat. Mat. We had no TV. We had no beds to sleep in. And above all, we had no little biscuit. What? I had promised to look after him and I wouldn't. First we built, built a house found. I found a long stick all amongst the bushes. It was no good for a house but it would be a flag pole. First we make a flag pole. I tied my hanger to the top and poked the flag pole into the ground. Where we, Good, we will manage without mom and dad. Mom and dad, I made me sad I to think about them. My eyes filled with tears, but I wouldn't cry in front of my little brother. And anyways, my handkerchief was up the top of the pole. I got angry instead thinking about the truck run over them. <sighs> Det är faktiskt lite svårt att läsa. We went round the garden looking for something to build a house with. I, it would be a beautiful little house. And we would live there till we grew or left home and went a Wednesday. My little brother found some rotten sticks but it was lucky and... I found five white plants that Dad planted to the house to make a new fence. They were under a temporal. The poor ch children had no nails and no hammer, but they bandaged the, the planks a little way to the 
whereas with a stone they were a bit wobbly. When then, then we put planks on the roof as well that helped make the house a bit stronger. Nu har de gjort en nytt hem till dig själv, till dem själva. It was a very beautiful little white house with a flat pole on a lawn and I was proud. I didn't know if we would be able to live in it when we grew up, but we could would be on eventually we had no more planks. Inside the house I made two beds for branches uh, and moss. We brought lots of old leaves which can go on the top of you when you sleep asleep. I leave a leaf blanket. It's very nice and warm, say I say I cover my little brother so he lay under a big pile of leaves. His little eyes peeped peeped out at me. He blinked. He's he said he wanted to watch TV. It's quite hard to make a TV. I started with an old carrot. It's quite hard to make a TV. I started with an old carrot I found in the rubbish heap. I ripped out the hole where the picture would be. I made a remote control from a smaller box. I had a, a pen in my backpack and I drew on the buttons. My little brother wrote uh, sticks with, on the top for Anta, uh, just like the neighbor's one. I pushed the button on the remote. Nothing happened. The batteries are dead anyways. There's nothing is good, good on TV these days, I said, looking at this at the screen. So I sounded like, just like that and I, and I rubbed my chin just like he did. My little brother said he would like a biscuit before he watched TV or some cake or butter. He was tricking to trick me. I knew very well he wasn't allowed to eat just butter, but we brothers had two sticks together now, so I didn't say anything. I pulled up some carrots from the vegetable garden but he didn't think much of them. Någon har rivit på sidan här. Then I remember he will borrow things from our neighbors. Something when you run out of something in the kitchen you go over to the neighbors and you borrow it. We knocked on our neighbor's store. He was an old man with a mustache and ch checked west. Can we borrow some eggs? I asked. He went to the kitchen. There are three eggs I caught and you will break them. He, he found a bowl of eggs and, and a cup of sugar. He rumbled in his card. His Pantry. I learned how to make cake. What else did you need? Uh, and a little butter. And a little butter. And some flour. And a tea teaspoon of vanilla sugar. The old man came back with a bowl. Everything was there. But my little brother said happily. We we mixed everything together using uh, the Antia. It was a beautiful beautiful cake mix, but I wouldn't think how to make it into a cake. How can you do that with it without a, an oven? My little brother thought the cake mix was good. It was a he ate it with his hand, starting from the world. In the
then make, she me and Kai might make my own TV program. There was a little penguin, 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 I sang, hopping around inside the box. My little brother was pleased. He laughed so hard that he bounced and shock. He, he had cake make on both hands as in his hair. Penguin, penguin, I sang. He was so happy because he still knew nothing. One day when he was bigger, I would tell him, him the whole sad story. Well, my dear little brother, one upon, once upon a time, it, a time we had some parrots, but the wind blew through the gasps and the risky walls. It was a such shame about us. I started to cry, playing with that, said my little brother. And I explained that Penguin was sad because his mother and father had been run over by a turbo red truck which came sliding up over the ice. Then Penguin, Penguin and his little sister wouldn't get inside in the igloo. They sat outside freezing. Penguin cried harder and louder. Another one said my little brother he wanted something different. Um, TV me too. Then someone looked in through a gap in the wall. It was Dad. My, oh my, oh my! We've been so worried. They ran us from play school. Someone lifted planks off the roof. It was Mom. We came from works, work as fast as we would. They took us in their arms and carried us inside the little house filled over by itself. I didn't understand a thing. What about the red truck? Then I asked what truck said my mother. They gave us sandwich, but my little brother was too full to eat anything. We watched some TV. It was a funny program. What did you do at school? asked my mother. And why did you go home early? I learned to tell the time. Say, I said 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Mom showed me her watch. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Dad said the teacher rang and said you'd go, go home two hours early. Oh, I said, Mom, I filled with tears. Now I understand you two were gone. Mom and Dad three tried to hug us, but uh, me and my little brother were where I ate my sandwich. My little brother burped. Also, that is sister said in the manita school and that's what, that's what De tog med huset. Så var slutet. Boken klar. Och den här boken tyckte jag att var bra, rolig och spännande. Och det är det som är att Little Brother var den bästa karaktären. Och hej då!